What's going on, everybody? Glad to see you guys all back here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. We've got something pretty cool for you AMD fans out there. Now, everybody who doesn't have a lot of money is always looking for a killer budget card. Now, when I say budget card for gaming, I'm thinking about a card that's under $200 range, because usually cards that are under $100 bucks aren't geared towards gaming. In comes the Sapphire Radeon R7 265, a card price between $119 and $159, 119 being the used price and $159 being the top, you know, you know, new price that we could find on Amazon. So it's a pretty well priced card. It actually has a lot of kick for the buck as well. This card has some nice features. I think you folks are going to really like it. And for AMD fans, you guys are really going to want to pay attention to this. Now, you guys all know back behind me, I have the Green Hornet. Usually in you guys' videos, you guys ask a lot of questions about that. Well, we have a really cool guy from Design for Paragon who has kicked us down these awesome cables because we're going to be changing everything out in there. We're going to be making a custom window. We're going to be gutting it out, painting everything, making it match up. And well, we got kicked some awesome cables. Now, hopefully these things will fall around, but all these cables match the build. Now each one of these was handmade. I know you guys probably don't want to see each and every one of them, but they're all each actually individually marked, taped up what they are individually, and he measured every single one of these to match the parts that we gave him for the system, which is going to be really cool. So we've got stuff for two video cards, the power, everything all from this really cool guy, and I just wanted to give him special thanks before we jumped into the video. So with that said though, Let's dig a little bit deeper and let's see what the R7 265 brings to the table and why you are going to want to check this thing out if you want a card on a budget that games. As we first take a look at the card, we can see that it features a black and silver color scheme. And right on top, we can see two fans that clearly say Dual X. This is totally Sapphire's type of technology. They have the proprietary rights for Dual X stuff, hence the name. As we go and we look along the side of the car, we can see a single heat pipe radiating out from underneath there, as well as a few components. And then down below that, we can see the PCIe. Now, as far as the size of the card, the card size is in at 228 by 109 by 35 millimeters. We'll also have this translated to inches for those folks who use that measure requirement. The card features a 900 megahertz core clock with a boost clock of 925 megahertz. The card is also made on the 28 nanometer chip and features 1024 stream processors. It features 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory and a 256 bit memory interface with a 5600 megahertz effective memory bandwidth. The card also is based on a two slot design and requires a single six pin power connector to power the card. As we spin the card around and we take a look at basically the rear end of the card, we can see on the right hand side is that single six pin power connector I spoke of a second ago. And to the left of that, we can see where the power is being provided for the two fans on top via that fan connector right there. As we spin around to the side of the card, we can clearly see the Sapphire logo. A few more of the components in there, as well as you guys can see all of the heat fins and everything. And then once again, we see the heat pipe rating out again off the side. As we flip the card around to the back side, we can see they use an entirely black PCB and there is a single crossfire connector to do a crossfire connection. As far as the rear aisle goes, we see a single DVI-I and a single DVI-D connection, as well as a single HDMI and single display port connection. For those users looking to use multi-monitor technology via iFinity 2.0, this card supports up to three monitors. And if you use this technology, you can get resolutions up to 4K. If you're using just the DVI ports alone, you get a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600 at 60 Hertz. Now that we've seen the specs, we know what the card's about. Let's jump in now to the benchmark song and let's see how this card actually performs.
All right, folks, so there you guys have it. The AMD Radeon Sapphire version of the R7 265 in all its glory. Now, this thing not only has a lot of power, it doesn't run very hot either. Under idle, it was running at 34 Celsius, and under full load, 59 Celsius. So this thing runs pretty cool. AMD fans out there are going to be particularly interested in this card, especially if you're looking to build a system that's not going to break the bank and still give you guys a lot of power. Like I said previously in the beginning of the video, this car can come to market at as low as $119 used I've seen online and up to $159. We'll have all the links and everything down below that like button, which hope you guys like this video. You guys will hit, we'll have all the information about this car. So if you guys are looking to buy one or just any more information about it, we'll have all that down there below. Also, a lot of you guys know we've been trying to get a hold of AMD for a long time to try to get a support. And it's been kind of a treacherous road because we just really can't get too much responses. So I wanted to ask a favor of you guys fans. You guys always want to see stuff on our channel about AMD. So if you guys want to help us out, you guys can contact Roy.Taylor at AMD.com. Send that guy a message. All you have to put in the hashtag is pretty much as, hey, give Tech of Tomorrow some support. So this guy knows that you the fans want to see the stuff here. If AMD sees that you the fans want to see more of that stuff here, then obviously they're going to give us better support. As it is right now, we can't even really get driver support. That's right, it's that bad. We've emailed them hundreds of times. We've contacted them by phone. No response. Now, I don't know really what's going on there. I don't want to kick AMD or say anything bad, but something funky is happening somewhere. So you as the fans can help us out by contacting AMD and reaching out and saying, hey, support tech of tomorrow. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this card and I hope you guys like the video. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech.